Welcome to the banks of the Don and to the Brig of Bulgoni, one of the last beautiful landmarks that the River Don passes on the outskirts of the city of Aberdeen before it winds its way out to meet the North Sea. It's the perfect setting for our first song, that great all Scottish favourite, Lassie o' Mine, or so better known to us all as By the Brig of Bulgoni. Today we're going to be travelling up the River Don, passing through some of the finest scenery in Aberdeenshire. And joining me on my journey, we're going to have some fine singers, great musicians and a champion dancer. So come on, let's enjoy our trip up the banks of the Don. By the Brig of Balgowie, I'll meet you. Bonnie Scots lassie, you're mine. You have the wild, the sweet winning smile. I long for you all the time. The mavis still sings in the wild wood, as in the dear days of long syne. By the Brig of Balgowie, I'll meet you. Bonnie Scots lassie, oh my Far away in Caledonia Near a sea-beat northern shore There dwells a bonnie lassie She's the maid whom I adore Her eyes are like the moonbeams When they fall upon the wave Her voice is like an angel Singing in the Alkirk nave she stands upon the shingle and she gazes o'er the sea. She's looking and she's longing for the ship that carries me. And I stand beside the ship rail with a heart in joyous pain. Oh, haste my boat that I may meet my loved one once again. By the brig of Balgowie, I'll meet you. On the Scots lassie of mine, you have the one, the sweet winning smile. I long for you all the time. The mavis still sings in the wild wood, as in the dear days of Lang Syne. By the brig of Balgowie, I'll meet you. Bonnie Scots lassie o' oh mine By the brig o' Balgowie I'll meet you Bonnie Scots lassie o' oh mine You have the wild, the sweet winning smile I long for you all the time The mavis still sings in the wild wood As in the dear days o' lang syne by the brig of Balgowie, I'll meet you, Bonnie Scots lassie, for mine. Well, here we are a few miles further upriver, and it's at this point, beside the Al Kirkyard here at Dice, that I'd like to introduce a real North East loon and great all-round entertainer, Sandy Reid. Hello, Sandy. Hello. You're no stranger to these lovely scenes around about the banks of the Don. No, it's one of my favourite spots. It's, uh, really good to uh, it's a great place and uh, I believe it brings back good memories and a wee poem you've written. Yes, I've written that Doon by the Don. On you go, Sandy. A war in the hills, the Don springs to life. On its long road down to the sea. Struth dawn it passes, nay much mere than a burn. Sign, Bella Beg, Towie, and Glen Kindy. Gathering speed and girth is wheel, it reaches Arthur's vale, the peaty water, rippling rock, twitching like a shelpy's tail. Paradise wed and throw the Lord's throat, bidding farewell to money moss, a glorious sect at only time, nay better than throw the trees at dusk. It's on nodding terms with Kemne and skirts soon Benahi, Burn Hervey and Menar come next, sign its own to Inverurie. Drawn like a magnet, it turns recht at the court, as though it was saying there's nothing else for it. He doon it keeps gone through fine firm and country, by passing Kintour, Kennedy and Fintry. 
At this tranquil spot, for its waters run deep, it pays its respects to the folk that lie asleep. It seems to slow doom and had its own breath. Fine we'll ken it, that even all the enemies are united in death. It leaves them alone in solitude and peace, seeing right of awe that this is their special place. On tiptoe it travels through the bonny green sward, feeling proof of being fair to the scene at this historic courtyard. Signed, half at a canter down to Park Hill, to face the hazards of more than a paper mill. Firstly then, all leafy, with green shrub and twig, then gliding so smoothly through the famous Bulgowney Bridge. It cocks a snoot at the traffic, mugging its way through the tomb, doing its best to ignore the rick, the fumes, and even the soon. Sign through the last hurdle to the sand-streaked banks, gurgling to itself, our watery prayer, food for thanks. It meets its demise without any fear, the waters we've followed will seem disappear. But memories for ah the light plenty be, as it's swallowed in a gulp with the grey North Sea. Although the dawn starts out for nothing and finishes up with just the same, the miles of water in between have been proved to share its name. But nature, being fit it is, is either of her hand. And when you come to think of it, it's the very same for man. I've chosen this beautiful row of cottages just by the brig of Bulgowney to sing one of my favourite Scottish love ballads, Peggy Gordon. It's not for me to let the world know it. A troubled heart can know no rest. I put my head to a cask of brandy. It was my fancy so to do. For when I'm drinking, I'm seldom thinking that Peggy Gordon is slighting me. I wish I was away in England, far across the bright sea. Sailing over the deepest ocean Where love and care can't bother me I wish I was in a lonely valley Where womankind cannot be found And all the songbirds they change their voices And every moment a different sound Oh Peggy Gordon, you are my darling Come sit ye down upon my knee And tell to me the very reason why I am slighted so by thee.
Well, here we are in another beautiful spot on the banks of the Don, just below Hochten Farm in the outskirts of Inverurie. And it's from here that I'd like to introduce one of the northeast of Scotland's finest fiddle players. Hibby Gray from Keith is just at home playing solo as he is at playing with some of the finest dance bands throughout Scotland. Hibby is going to play for us now one of James Scott Skinner's finest slow airs, Bavagli's Blade. <laughs> One day as I was walking, and do as I did pass, On the banks of Inverurie, a spider bonny lass. Her hair hung over her shoulders, and her eyes like stars did shine, On the banks of Inverurie, and Dogen she were mine. I did embrace this fair maid, as fast as e'er I could, her hair hung over her shoulders broad, all in its threads of gold. Her hair hung over her shoulders, and her eyes like drops of dew. On the bank so in Veruri, I long to walk with you. She said, young man, give over, did not delude me so. After kissing cometh wooing, and after wooing woe. My tender heart you would ensnare, and I beguile it be on the bank so in Veruri, were I to walk with thee. She said, Young man, give over my company refrain. I know you are of gentle blood, but of a graceless clan. I know your occupation, lad, and good it canna be on the bank so in Veruri. I'll walk alone, said she. I said, my pretty fair maid, the truth I'll ne'er deny. On the bank so in Veruri, twelve maids beguiled have I. I used to flatter fair maids, but now it shall not be. On the bank so in Veruri, if you will walk with me. He put a horn to his lips and blew both loud and shrill. And four and twenty armed men came at their master's call. 
I used to flatter fair maids, but now it shall not be. On the banks of Inverurie, if you will marry me. So come, my pretty fair maid, and mount on horseback high, and we will to the parson go, and that immediately. And I will sing these lines with joy until the day I die. To the praise of Inverurie's banks, for first I met with thee. To the praise of Inverurie's banks, where first I met with. There are many great attractions in Dawnside, and one of the finest is here at Kildrummy Castle Gardens, where they have a half-size replica of the Brig of Bulgownie, where we started our trip up the River Dawn today. It's here in this tranquil settings in the gardens at Kildrummy that I'd like to introduce one of the best Highland dancers in Scotland. Gareth Mitchelson from Monifeath has been four times world champion Highland dancer. Here's Gareth to dance the sword dance with Piper David Lowe. Just above Kildrummy Castle Gardens lies the ruins of Kildrummy Castle itself, once described as the noblest castle in Aberdeenshire. Over its history it was home to the powerful Earls of Mar, and it was also at one point home to Sir Neil Bruce, brother of King Robert the Bruce. And it's here we're going to meet two really fine singers, Gay Anthony and Trish Norman. And they're going to sing for us a song which started off as a poem, written by Violet Jacob, and put to music by that great folk singer, Jimmy Reed. Here's Gay and Trish with The Norland Wind. Oh, tell me if it was on your road, he rode a Norland wind, as he come blowing through this land, that's never free my mind. My feet they travelled England, but I'm dying for the north. A man I saw the silver tides run up the Firth of Forth. I went a can them really new and finally found rise and fain I. Sigh on the way. A man a rock 
Stopped the roving gulls at Sailor Pente. But sighing the thin lean wind, before you come to five, for there's muckle. to me than life A man has swept the anger's parades But you have not drawn for years Oh, when for a aimless loon Then can I see for tears And for a man the anger's trust I saw the wild geese flee Ski no beaten wings that heeds towards the sea, and I the crying voices train I hint them on the air. Oh, when to mercy had ye wished, for I dare no listen there, and far above the struts I saw the wild bees flee a lang lang skin no beaten wings with their heads towards the sea and I the crying voices train a hand them on the air oh wind have mercy had your wish but I darna listen there. Well, he's going to Melville Castle, boots and spurs and all, to bid the ladies off her wheel, a forty kings of all. New Willie's young and blithe and bonny, loot boy in and all. Oh, what will all the lasses do when Willie gains a war? The first he met was Lady Kate, she led him through the hall. And we a sad and sorry help, she let the tears do fall. Beside the fire stood Lady Grace, said ne'er a word at all. She thought that she was sure of him, a he gained a war. Well, he's geen to Melville Castle, boots and spurs and all To bid the ladies of her will afore he gains a war Well, he's young and blithe and bonny, look boy in and all Oh, what will all the lassies do when well, he gains a war? Then bend the hoose, come Lady Bell, we'd wrath, you needn't a craw. Nay, doot the lad will fancy me and disappoint ye all. Then down the stairs took Lady Jean the floor among them all. Oh, lassies, trust in Providence, and ye'll get husbands all. Well, he's keen to Melville Castle, boots and spurs and all. To bid the ladies of farewell before he gains a war. Well, he's young and blithe and bonny, blue boy in and all. Oh, what will all the lassies do when Willie gains a war? Then on his horse he raid a war, they gathered round the door. He gaily waved his bonnet blue, they set up sick a roar. The cries and tears broke Willie back, he's kissed the mean and all. Oh, lassies bite the like him, him and then I'll wed ye off. Willie's in the metal castle, boots and spurs and all. Fair will of forty kings of war. Well, he's young and blithe and bonny, blue pine and dark. Oh, what will all the lassies do when well, he gains a war? Oh, what will all the lassies do when well, he gains a war?
here's a wee song for you. A song that was written about the late, great Will Starr. Will, of course, was no stranger to the northeast of Scotland. He often came to these parts playing in some of the great concert parties. Here's the song about Will called The Old Button Box. <laughs> Where pitheads and bings were the mountains of home, and the dark 1920s brought cares of their own, and the sons of the miners knew when they were below, they would follow the path to the mines. But one lad just listened as his father would play on an old button box at the close of the day. And the sound of the pit wheel would fade far away As the music took over his mind So dance with me, darling, to the old button box With you in my arms to turn back the clock And well, if you're listening, the jackly waltz Is playing in our dreams tonight Now the tunes from his fingers would fly like a bird His name on everyone's lips could be heard Of the gift he was born with, he spoke not a word But the music said more than the man So dance with me, darling, to the old button box With you in my arms to turn back the clock And well, if you're listening the jackling walks is playing in our dreams tonight. But for all of the pleasure and joy that he gave, his fame brought no fortune from cradle to grave. He struggled through dark days, determined and brave, till at last he was freed from the pain. Now if I'm lonely, I know I can hear A gentle accordion tune in my ear And I feel all the cares of the day disappear Just listen, he's playing the game So dance with me, darling, to the old button box With you in my arms to turn back the clocks And well, if you're listening, the jackling waltz Is playing in our dreams tonight You're playing in our dreams tonight
We're now at the ruins of the old lodge at Tornasheen Strathdon, and this is one of the traditional stopping places for the Lonach men to take a wee dram before they make their way down to Bella Beg Park to the Lonach gathering. And it's here that Hebby Gray is going to play a traditional James Scott Skinner march to Spay and Reel. Scott Skinner's compliments to Dr. MacDonald, Forbes Morrison, and the Bride's Reel. Tomorrow must wait 
till this day is done. Come by the hills to the land where fancy is free. And stand where the peaks meet the sky and the rocks reach the sea. Where the rivers run clear and the bracket is gold in the sun. And cares of tomorrow must wait till this day is done. And cares of tomorrow must wait till this day is done. It's time for the Lonach again. That gathering of oh, kilted men. And where'er I bide, my heart stays on Don's side, where I march with the Lonach men. I've crossed many oceans, I've seen many shores, but none of them meant much to me. My heart swells with pride when I stand by my river, the Don. Flowing east to the sea It's time for the Lonach again That gathering of oh, kilted men And where'er I bide My heart stays on Don's side Where I march with the Lonach men I've lived in my homeland lived overseas but sometimes I've not lived at all but when times are bad I remember the good times we had at the Lonach Ball it's time for the Lonach again that gathering oh kilted man and where'er I bide, my heart stays on Don's side, where I march with the Lonach men. I've had such ambitions, I've worked hard all my life, but now I'm not sure of my aims. I wish I had the strength, the muscle, the might of the men. At the Lonach Games It's time for the Lonach again That gathering of oh, kilted men And where'er I bide My heart stays on Don's side Where I march with the Lonach men Can you feel the thrill of times long gone by as you stand on the hill neath the trees see the clans march again with their heads held high hear the skirl or the pipes on the breeze
When the summer time is coming and the leaves are sweetly blowing on the wild mountain time grows around the blooming heather. Will ye go, lassie, go? And we'll all go together to pull wild mountain time all around the blooming heather. Will ye go, lassie, go? I will build my love a tower by yon clear crystal fountain, and on it I will pile all the flowers of the mountain. Will ye go, lassie, go, and we? If my true love she won't go, then I'll surely find another to pull wild mountain time all around the blooming heather. Will ye go, lassie, go, and we? We've come to the end of our journey up the banks of the Don and we've travelled right up to the top of Strathdon, to very nearly the source of the river itself. And I would like to ask Pipe Major Alastair Lang of the Lonach Pipe Band to play us out with that fine old Highland pipe tune, My Home, Modahi. <laughs>